Hi, and welcome to another waveform tutorial. So this one is on chords, namely suspended chords, simple way of adding extra dimension to your progressions. So let's look at the standard triads in a C major scale. So C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and back to C our tonic. So, as I've mentioned in previous chord-related tutorials, we generally, in most modern music, don't use diminished chords. So we'll take that out of there and replace it with a flattened 7 rather than 7. So that's going to be a major, so B-flat major. Okay, so you can see at the top here we have all the notes of the scale. And as they're laid out, we can see their interval number. So this is how we work out our triads. So let's look at this in practice. So I'm going to start with two blank MIDI clips. So a C major is going to be made up of a first, a third, and a fifth. So the first is C, obviously. The third is E. And the fifth is G. So C, E, and G. G major, so a major third and a minor third, the two intervals. So I'll just drop down the velocity. So let's look at a minor triad. In this case, the second chord of the scale, D minor. So we're going to have D as our tonic. Our third is F. And our fifth is A. So D, F, A, D minor. So if we listen to two back, both back, so we can hear major chord, happy, minor chord, and a sad, wistful. So the two major tonalities we deal with. So what about other tonalities within a triad? So let's look at suspended chords and how they are created. So we're going to duplicate our C. So so suspended chords have no third, so they're neither major nor minor, which gives them their open, kind of ambiguous quality, which we're going for. So so we're suspended second, we're going to have a second note. So that you can, we can see the second note is D, so we're going to have C, D, and G. Which will be C suspended second. So if we want to see sus4, we're going to change our third into a fourth rather than the second. So we can see the fourth of the scale is F. So we move up by one semitone in this case. So a completely different tonal color. So let's listen to a C major and a C sus second and a C sus fourth. I'll just name them here, just to avoid confusion. So I'm sure you've heard progressions like that before, particularly on piano. Now look at, let's look at the same thing, but with a minor chord instead. So again, Remember, our suspended chords are neither major nor minor. So let's take our humble D minor chord, make a duplicate or two. So again, there's no third. We either have a second or a fourth. So in this case, we'll go with our second. So we're gonna drop down 
can see we now have suspended second and for the fourth we'll go the opposite direction So that's the minor with the sus second and sus fourth. So again, it's a tonality you've definitely heard in countless songs. So let's have a listen to the tonality of suspended seconds all the way through. Oh, sorry, my computer's crapping out. So C suspended second, D suspended second, E, F, G, A, B flat, and back up to the C. So again, it's neither major nor minor. So they're all the versions you have for C major, or not all, but the basic ones. So the same thing for sus fourth, which are the more commonly used of the two. So two slightly different tonalities. So you can also add sevenths, ninths, elevenths, thirteenths, whatever you like. You can make them as complex as you like, but just with sevenths. So C sevenths suspended second. Tricky one to say. So we're adding a flattened seventh of the scale. So if we look just at the C7 suspended second, so E7 note of the scale is B. So if we flatten that, we have a B flat or an A sharp. So we only have sharp notes in the uh, key roll editor in Ableton. So that's A sharp, as you can see, and the same formula all the way up. So the same thing with seven suspended fourth chords. So, it's, so again, you just add the flattened seventh of the scale. For me, the sus four, especially the seventh, has a kind of mm, brighter tone, and the sus two has a kind of darker tone. So let's have a listen to a few examples. So the tonic chord. Again, you've heard that countless times. Next, the dominant change to a suspended chord. So subdominant. So it's nice the way it goes moves up in pitch. They just add extra flavors or extra potential tones that you can uh, bring to bear within a progression. So some minor flavors. loop that. So C suspended second, E minor, then change the rate of change. So 
So some sus2 variations. So you can see the chromatic movement there by using the uh, F suspended fourth. Again, that kind of chromatic movement really handy for intros or builds. You want to build and release tension. So here's a more unusual one with the use of the flattened seventh. So flattened seventh with sus suspended second. And here's a version, so eight bars using both the sus2 and the sus4 of our flattened seventh chord. So it's some minor bass examples. So alternating between suspended and minor. So in this version, we're alternating between sus4 and sus2 chords. You might recognize this particular progression here, if I'll just loop it. So, Radiohead, anyone? So again, these kind of progressions are used innumerable amount of times in hit songs from various genres. So go to town, try out suspended chords in their various guises. It's a great way of adding much more flavor to your progressions. Cheers, see you in the next video.